Hello and welcome you all. I, Professor Vipin Sopre, working as an assistant professor at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology, Pune. In this video, I am going to discuss about vehicles and their specifications. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about automobile first. What is automobile? It is a self-propelled wheel vehicle which produces power on its own for the transportation of the goods and passenger on the road. So this is the simple definition of automobile that it is a self-propelled vehicle which produces power on its own in order to transfer goods and passenger on the road. Let's talk about classification of the automobile. So what is what is the classification? There are several parameters on basis of which automobiles are getting classified. Let's talk about uh, them in one by one. So according to the number of the wheels, automobiles are classified into two wheeler, three wheeler, four wheeler vehicles and six wheeler vehicles. So in two wheelers, we generally observe motorcycle and scooter in three wheelers, tempo and auto rickshaws. In four wheeler car, jeeps and bus and trucks. Then in six wheeler buses and trucks are there. So according to the number of the wheels, this classification is based. Then according to the number of the use, according to the use, these vehicles are classified. So according to the use, they are classified into light duty vehicle and heavy duty vehicle. So some wheels are light duty vehicle like car, jeeps, scooters and motors, while some are heavy duty vehicles like bus, truck and tractors. Then next classification based on purpose. Some are passenger vehicle and some are good carrying vehicle. Those vehicles which carries passengers are bus, cars, these are the passenger vehicles, while some are good carrying vehicle like trucks, etc. Then uh, depending on the fuel type of use, fuel source, some are petrol, some are diesel and some are ga gas. Nowadays, some are electric vehicles and hybrid vehicle. Depending on the fuel used, they are classified as petrol, diesel, gas, and electric vehicles. Then, then according to the type of the transmission, some are automatic transmission vehicle, some are manual transmission vehicle, and some are semi-automatic. What is automatic transmission? Those vehicles in which changing of the gear takes place automatically these are automatic transmission those in which changing of the gears takes place manually are manual changing and semi-automatic in which you can have an option that you can switch to automatic mode and manual mode so these are semi-automatic then next one is the side of the drive then according to the side of the drive they are left hand drive right hand drive vehicle so those in which the your steering wheel is present on the left hand side these are left hand drive vehicle and those in which your steering wheel present on the right hand side those are right hand right hand drive vehicles the next one is your type of car those vehicles which are having cargo area present are called as sedan vehicles and those vehicle in which cargo area is absent, these are called as hatchback vehicle. So depending on the type of the car, they are classified into sedan and hatchback vehicles. Then wheels of the drive. Yeah, they, there are left hand drive vehicle and left, right hand drive vehicle as I have already talked about. So these are the classification of the vehicles. Let's go ahead and discuss with uh, layout of the chassis. So this is the structure of the chassis. On chassis, these are the several components of automobile which are present. So first, in, first one is a chassis, which is also called as frame. It is the main and important part of your automobile chassis, which is also called as frame. Then next one is the axles. There are two, one is front, and another one is rear axle. The next one are the wheels. So they may be two, four, six, eight, depending on the type of vehicle, the wheels are present. Next one is the suspension system. Again, front suspensions are there and rear suspensions are there. Then next one is the steering system is there. 
it is present on the front end but the, the uh, that is controlled by the rear axle of the differential gearbox the next one is the engine which is the first component of your power transmission system so this one is the engine then next one clutch this one is gearbox then propeller shaft with universal joints and differential gear gearbox and the last one is the radiator which is present in the front end of the vehicle so these are the important components of your chassis layout let's go ahead and discuss with one by one them and their functions let's talk about chassis first so it is the main skeleton or frame of the vehicle on which other important components like engine clutch gearbox suspension system transmission systems are mounted so it is the main frame of the vehicle then second important part is the axle yes there are two types one is front axle the second one is the rear axle front axle present on the front side on which steering system is mounted rear axle is present on the back side rear side on which driving shaft enclosing tubular structure is present so these are the two types of the axle one is front axle the second one is the rear axle next one is the wheels so wheels are again which supports the axle then the load of the vehicle along with the passenger is supported by the wheel through the axle so this is a again important element in order to support the load of the passenger along with the vehicle the next one is the suspension system suspension system as we know wheels are mounted uh, um, wheels uh, supports the chassis but the chassis is not directly in contact with the wheels in between them suspension system is present in order to isolate the passengers from the road jerks and shocks the suspension system plays an important role so which you have the uh, which you have you have the uh, uh, comfort from the jerks and the shocks the next one is the steering system so these are the steering system in which you can have a turn wheel in the desired direction these are mounted on the front axle only the next is the engine as i have already told this is the first important part of the power transmission system which convert chemical energy of the fuel into the mechanical power the next one is the clutch what is the function of the clutch it is used to for the power transmission so it receives power from the engine and gives it to the gearbox then next important component is the gearbox as this is the third important component of the power transmission system what is its function to take the power from the clutch and transmit it to the propeller shaft and in gearbox torque is increased and speed is reduced why this is present in order in view of changing of the gear ratios time to time this is present that torque is increased and speed is reduced by time to time the next important part of your chassis is the propeller shaft with universal joint then propeller shaft is a mechanical element that transmit power from the gearbox to the differential gearbox again this propeller shaft is having universal joint present at the both end at one end by with the help of universal joint propeller shaft connect with the connected with the differential gearbox and another end it is connected with the gearbox to the universal joint so universal joint is present at either end of the propeller shaft then next one is the differential gearbox what is the function of the gearbox it is present at the right angle to the re uh, propeller uh, rear axle and it receives the power from the propeller shaft to the rear axle so this is the function of the differential gearbox which allows two wheels to rotate at different speed when vehicle is taking the turn when your vehicle is taking turn this differential gearbox plays an important role when you are taking the turn this differential gearbox plays an important role why because it is providing a facility to rotate the wheels at a different speed hence the turning of the vehicle possible next important element is radiator it is also known as a heat exchanger which is present at the front end of the vehicle it cools the hot coolant coming from the engine and send back to the again engine so this is the radiator which acts as the heat exchanger then i think this is enough for today i hope now you are being familiar with the definition of automobile classification of automobile and 
the chassis structure the components of the chassis and their functions thank you thank you all